Oh, man. Yo, why is this music so heavy? Oh, my goodness. What is happening? And here we are. Day two of Cheers of the Kingdom. Hours and hours later. Do I have enough? I don't think so. I will pray to you regardless. Yeah, I only have two. I do not have four. My little flower crown. Oh, little Rito. They're gonna sing. I'm gonna let them practice. That's fine. We have the inn. Purchasables. Why are you sad? Oh, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. Yeah, a customer who's sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. Not me. Welcome to the Swallows Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest well and easy. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, come again when you want to. I'm not paying to sleep when I could just fast travel to sleep, dude. Ooh, is this another shrine right near my face? I mean, I gotta do it. This is the Rito Village Shrine. We have the Gatakis Shrine. Gatakis. The Gatakis Shrine. Okay, let's go. Ride the winds. Well, that should be easy enough. Ride the winds. I'm sure this will go fine. Oh, this looks fun. That was really tough. That was really, that was really tough for me. You know? Oh, I see. Do I just go downstairs? I mean, I guess I just go downstairs. Where else do I go? Where are you? Seriously, where are you? Don't know what. Oh, do I need to like dive into this ice? The ice looks breakable. Ah! Whoa, we actually do. That was so sick. Oh, so when we see ice like that, it's breakable time. Whoa. Hey, you'll take, take that treasure chest. <laughs> That was really cool. All right, construct bow. Let's drop this bad boy. Nice. All right, and that is the only chest in here. So now we have to get through it. Now this is a fun but also simple shrine, and it's done. Honestly, that's speed run status right there. Speed run status if I've ever seen it. Listen, some of us are better at building boats and some of us are better at traveling the winds. We all have different skill sets. Okay, now I still need to find where the heck I need to go. Oh, I should see if the clothes store is uh, selling anything. Can I ascend right through the floor of the, oh, I can, that's so cool. I can, that's so cool. Yo, sorry. Hi, hi, thanks for coming in. Even though it's snowing so hard, it's cold, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Luckily for you, I sell warm clothes. I'm here to sell, dude. Ascend really is such a good ability. All right, let's see. I'm sure I can find these clothes for free around High Hyrule, but we're gonna go ahead and just worry about buying them. I don't have enough. 650? Oh my, okay, I was not expecting the economy to this bad, to be this bad. I was not expecting the economy to be this much in shambles. I would have done some serious farming had I known that. Basic zone I sell for a lot. 
Yeah, I, should, I could probably go to the depths and just farm those, right? That's probably the best way to get money in the game. Bear at all. You know I can handle it. No, oh, you can't. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. Ooh. I could even do it alone. Our boy is back. If we don't do anything, the village... The bird boys. It is you. Link. Tulin, the young Rito warrior, who's very happy to see me. Is that the voice of Killua? I didn't watch Hunter Hunter in English, so I'm not sure. Mm. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Teba, the new Rito elder. Whoa. <sighs> Very nice to see you again. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller though, perhaps, and yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh. What, you think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. Oh, wow, that's awesome, Shadow. Dude, the, mu the theme here is really good. I really like the melody in this village. You, all, you can all keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. I mean, it is real, dude. It's as real as, as the wings we have. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard and he's having trouble hearing no. Uh. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Luffy? Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. A flying ship, you say? Mmm. Even if the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. That is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? <laughs> what? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm, we Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your research. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Mm. I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many resources of information, many sources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Ah, gotcha, Shadow. He's in the lodge near there. If you'd like to try visiting him. If you'd like to try visiting him. I would like to try that. Let's go to the highest point and float over there. Yo. Oh, my soul is weary. Oh, is, the face is different, isn't it? The face is like more sinister. But now that I know how many rupees I need for if I want good stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and be trying to pick up everything. Honestly, even though it mostly results in me dropping bad weapons and getting better weapons. But a sapphire sword seems pretty cool. You have my support! Eric! Oh no. Whoa, 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 darn it all! President Hudson, are you okay? Is President Hudson, did he get turned into a sign? Oh no, what have I done? All right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault for staring at me like that. Yes, I know it's the sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable! You haven't heard about President Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. 
Of course, he is also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Hey! I'm right in the middle of the president's epic tale of heroism! Ugh, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal! These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail! Noble, glorious detail! It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over, and so... <laughs> I've pledged to support him. No need to worry. I have no need to worry that I might suffer in this cold. I've eaten a special rice ball I made that helps me withstand it. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you, but I can't stand it forever! I've got so many more signs to spread around, I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. <laughs> unforgivable! All right, well, why don't you, like, diffuse the sign? You know, why don't we, like, why don't we use some of this wood that Hudson gave us, right? Can we, like... Can we, like, help it stand up somehow? Like, by finishing the sign? I don't know. Giving it another leg? Oh, I can't actually fuse it? I was hoping that I could, like, you know actually make a sign for you. Oh, and it fell right over. Cool. Um, use throw with the, sp with the, uh, ice rod. Ooh, that's so cool. All right, I want to help you out, dude. I feel bad for you. So it's like, let me help you. You guys think that's enough? Let's see. Try letting go. Let's go! Wait, will he be okay? He won't fall. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I never would have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. All right, nice. We helped them put up a sign. Now that's some construction I'm capable of. Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. We got 20 bucks for that. Let's go. Oh, am I going to get a big, biting, meaty rice balls? Cold weather attack is buffed. Interesting. And then we get a bomb flower. One singular bomb flower. I would have liked more, but thank you. This is who I'm supposed to meet, yes? Hey there. Are you here because of the spot of the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air, though as proud as I am of them. They can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy sky tower view. Uh. It won't alarm me. It won't warm you up like a bonfire, Will, but it's hard to beat it for size and sheer brightness. Ooh. The aliens are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Oh, I want to go uh, grab that then. Don't mind if I do. I don't think I can ascend through this rock. I got to try though. Oh yes, we did do that before. It's pretty cool, Weldens. All right, can you let me ascend up this somehow? Can I cheat it? I can't cheat, I can't, I can't go ahead and cheese it, huh? Uh, I don't think this is smart. Yeah, I don't think it's smart. Let's just go around about. I mean, I, we should be able to ascend on this rock, like this, this pointy, snowy one. I just gotta climb up a little bit. What? What? Come on. Really? No dice? I'm shook. It. What? That's crazy, dude. That's actually mad. Stop, stop crouching. Stop it. Grab onto the wall. Thank you. You, you, you. All right. There's a bunch of, you know, things over here, but we can navigate through or we can burn them all up. But I'm going to navigate through. The Rospo Pass Skyview Tower. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I don't need a tree branch. Oh, I can't. I actually do have to burn it all up. Or I have to, like, you know, use some wind. Dang. Okay, let's do this. 
Let's attach a fire flower because it's kind of free or fire fruit rather to burn that up. I guess that's why it doesn't feel anywhere near as bad to do that now because the fire fruits are so plentiful that it won't matter. All right, getting another sky tower, massive. Absolutely massive. And do -do -do. Scan it. There's a shrine right there we can go snag. There's another shrine right there we can go snag. Ooh. Oh, true. I could just throw the fire fruit. There. Nice. Man, I'd really like to get another one of the glyphs, honestly. I really would like to get another one of the glyphs. Oh. Oh, the sky map updated. Never mind. I was like, what is that? What in the heck? Hey, Razor, thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate that a ton. I kind of do want to just go snag one of these shrines. Because we can always just work back here and do story. Let's go to the faraway shrine. Oh, it's in the sky. Oh, even more reason to do it. Our first sky shrine, a scrine? I gotta. I just gotta, dude. Okay. Can I actually, oh, can I not ascend up there? Oh, I can't ascend up there. Um, we can hit this though. No, never mind. I lied. Apparently we won't, we're not going nowhere. Can I rewind you? Did you, did you ever go anywhere else? Oh, you're going down. Oh, you were going up. Were you actually going up and I didn't realize it? It didn't look like I was moving. Let's see. Yeah, we're get, we're going up for sure. Oh, this is a mistake. Any chance you grab on? Okay. Nope, I lied. Okay, it's fine though. Cause there's just a giant, there's just like a giant sky giant, which I'm sure will be fine. I'm sure this Minecraft enemy will be super easy. Oh, I completely missed its weak point, that's for sure. A flux construct one. Holy! Um, I take back everything I've ever said about constructs. I have no more. Sick, dude. I'm so riled to be here. That does no damage. I'm really, really excited to be here, guys. I'm so pumped. This guy's actually really easy. Sweet. I'm so glad I have uh, your guys' confidence uh, along with, you know. Oh, wait. Maybe he is actually really easy. Hey, wait a minute. I was, I was, I was hurting that. Oh, he is so easy, dude. This is great. Look, and there was a chest in there too. Nice. I got a very old map. Wait, what? How many different things are in this game? Oh my goodness. So these sky giants? I got a time bomb. This, this sky giant, did I get any melee weapons out of that? Nothing. All right, apparently I can unfuse in my, in my, I can take this, right? Let's see. And then I can select it and I can destroy the fuse material. And then I can go to fuse and fuse that here. And now I got a boomerang with a thing on it. 
Dude, so that means that like, oh my gosh, the sky giants are guarding secrets of the depths, which I feel like is intentional. So I wonder what the connection is gonna be there. All right, we got rockets and honestly, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a bunch of rocket shields. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And no one's gonna tell me it's wrong. I can clearly see that I can build like, like even this, this is like clearly a, a powerful spaceship that's gonna go to the sky. But if I really can't, can I really not ascend up there? Oh, there they go. Cool, I think we did it. Oh, I was so nervous. Oh, it's a gachapon too. Oh, baby, a triple. Now we might actually get rockets though. We might actually get ourselves some rockets. So we gotta put in, we gotta play some gotch. <laughs> Time bombs, we got rockets. Okay, yeah, we're set, dude. That just changed the whole game. Oh, not use, oh boy, I just used all that. Didn't mean to do that. That's fine, come on, gotcha gods, give me the goods. Nice. More rockets, a bunch of flame emitters, a bunch of time bombs. Which even that, so you can time bomb. What, what, whoa. All right, you need to calm down. No one, no one told you to do that. No one told you to do that. The Ijo O Shrine. I'm about it, baby. I'm about it. Give it to me. What else do we got? Easy Shrine again? What is it, Tetris? Pfft. This will definitely be a really good fast travel point, Mike's Nerds Cave. More than defense. Because like, now we are in the sky. All right, let's do this. All right, can't grab anything. There's a flame emitter in the corner. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. No, I wasted my rocket because of this idiot. I wasted my rocket. Brick. I kind of knew that was going to happen as soon as possible, right? Oh, I got a little ice shard. Whoa. I want to I want to hit you with it. Oh, he's so toxic, dude. There you go. Get out of here. Get got. All right, then there is a uh, there's a shield that we can. Okay, I see what they're doing. They're showing me all the different things that I can thing with. I get it. It's very cool. Is there a chest in here? There is. Let's go. Five arrows. Wow. Oh wow. Uh, can I please cover that last one? That would be really dope. If I could like, oh God, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get lit on fire. All right, now start falling again. You can't exist like that forever. I guess you can. Okay, cool. You're, you're breaking the laws of physics. I'm not gonna tell you who's your boss. It's clearly not me. No! That was unnecessary, unnecessary violence, honestly. Oh, my emitter. It's fine. I didn't want it anyway. I didn't really want it. All right, now we got to rock it up. All right, we got to rock it over this wall. Do I have to use a shield, dude? Do I even have a shield. A shield. I, I do have a shield. I will. I will use said shield. Sure. Shame. Shame on my family name. But we did it. All right. 
an e I told you, easy baby shrines. That's what we need more of. Some nice, delicious, nutritious sh shrines. What about a rocket ring? I don't think that's coming back. Or it's going crazy fast. All right. Do we still get stamina? I'm obviously not the most confident player, but stamina is just so convenient. And is one extra heart really gonna make a difference? Okay, this is a great fast travel point. And we can actually like kind of work our way down through the sky and get to exactly where we need to go. All right, we're going here. So we're actually heading the right way. Let's just go to this shrine. Dive! I, I clicked dive, but no diving happened. No diving happened. Maybe I'll go snag some Wendy's chili. Always love me some Wendy's chili. Aid from above. Ascend. Is it going to be ascending? All right, first things first, grab this. Let's see if there's anything we can grab. Uh, no. Can I actually hop over this? Okay, that one is easy. It's, it's supposed to get you stuck for a while, but it's just a jump. Oh, I feel like James Bond. Wait, is this what I'm supposed to do? Feels like I'm cheesing right now, but maybe I'm not. I can't move that? Really? I did get Wendy's chili. I did. I got Wendy's chili on Friday. It was delicious. Yeah, okay. I was overthinking. All right, don't overthink it. Maybe this is just the aid from above with the ascend. I mean, I did it. I'm crouching, I'm crouching. You guys see me crouch? That's crazy. A plus content, dude. We're gonna go ahead and Well, that wasn't very kind. Interesting. Very interesting. So the wire, the wires don't actually hurt you then. They're just here to make you fall. Wait, it closed already, but I wanted one more block. Just in case you open up again, come here. Wait. I got no block now. These blocks all just beat? Oh. That was just a test. That was just a test. I don't, I'm, I'm, what I'm most confused about is what's supposed to be difficult about this shrine. It's crouching and jumping. Oh. But then I just ascend. I mean, I think that like, the, the difficult thing is that I missed the chest very clearly. That's the unfortunate thing. And I don't think I will be able to go back. I don't think I can go back. All right, let's, let's, we'll go, we'll run it back. We'll go back inside and look for the chest. Okay, now we have to find where the chest would be. I mean, the chest has to involve those blocks, right? Absolutely. It absolutely has to involve those blocks. Is it gonna be behind here actually, or is this just for design? Wait, no, there's definitely a chest back here. Okay, there's a chest back there. Somehow we have to get it. It should still be help from a above, shouldn't it? Oh, I wish I had a rocket shield right now. I do. Do I use it to get this chest? Do I just hop over the wall and cheese it? No, there's got to be a correct thing to do. Let me just put this here and see if that opened the gate. It did. Ah, ah. 
A spicy elixir. Ooh. And that is all the chests. So we can just fast travel here. I love the Fortnite dive, dude. I really do. Really, really nice. Free flint? Don't mind if I do. Free wood? Ah, they're giving me the goods to start fires. And the oil jar. Interesting. If I fuse that to a weapon, am I going to go ahead and pop off? Yo. Oh. Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. <sighs> Our feathers are full, dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Mm. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly and on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Oh. Though now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. Well, Tulin's getting yelled at. Oh, right. You weren't around for it, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wing gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is cut above. Mm. That kid does uh, preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gassane and Lysa on a trip to find food. Oh, I think they were on their way to Ebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast of here. The cave is past the cliff out front up on the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Uh. Find the bonfire to the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Yo. Uh. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. The right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you are welcome. I already took them, bro. They're already in my pocket. Okay, so the quickest way is honestly probably going to be um, just flying again to the bonfires. There ain't no reason not to. There ain't no reason not to.